Hi, my name is Vincent, and today I want to talk about how to overcome math anxiety. Now, I was a math major and a math education major, and I've taken about 17 math classes. So I've taken a ton of math tests, and I've had grades ranging from 0 to 100. So I've had amazing experiences taking math tests and absolutely horrible experiences taking a math test. And the worst experience was while I was taking a class called Advanced Linear Algebra, and I was studying two days before the test, and I remember thinking that I was going to do absolutely terrible. Like, I was just in a really negative place, just saying, oh, I can't get this stuff, and I'm going to fail when I show up to the test. And sure as anything, the day of the test, I'm about 15, 20 minutes in, my mind has gone, like, completely blank, nothing is coming to me, and I quit. I, I erased what little stuff I had, handed a blank test to the professor, and I took a zero. And immediately after I left the class, I went to the computer lab to withdraw the class. So there was like a thousand dollars, like just right down the drain. And I remember I was standing in like the center of campus or sitting in front of the fountain, just like miserably, like just like, oh man, thinking like I'm going to drop out of the math major. I was even thinking of dropping out of college. And it was just absolutely the worst experience. It was a horrible day. But I'm kind of glad that day happened because it taught me basically what not to do for every future test. And I want to share those tips with you guys today. And the first tip, which is kind of obvious, is to practice. You know, like if you don't study for a math test, you show up to the test having not studied. Like you have every right to be like anxious during the test. Like you have to get really lucky to do well if you don't study at all. So the first order of business is to practice you know and I have a separate video on how to prepare for a math exam but make sure you practice days in advance you know you don't want to study the night before an exam you want to make sure that you go through plenty of problems that way you could show up to the test confidently and if you're confident during the test the math anxiety is not going to be an issue now tip number two kinda of stems from tip number one and that's to make sure yeah you study in advance, you know, you could probably point out two to three kids the day of the test. Like, they're very easy to spot. The kids who didn't study or the kids who studied the night before, they look terrified. They're flipping through their notes frantically, freaking out. And they should freak out because they aren't going to be ready and the test is going to be very difficult for them. So the general rule of thumb is you want to know the material the night before. That way you could go to sleep. It will convert to long-term memory and you'll show up to the test just ready to go. You won't have to sit there scratching your head really thinking about what you have to do. And the general rule of thumb is do not study one hour before the test. Please try to follow that. Uh, if you're one of those kids reading your notes right before the test, you're going to drain your brain's battery power and you're going to show up to the test. You're going to sit down. You're going to have about 40% battery and you're likely going to burn out halfway through the test. So one hour before the test, close your books, put on headphones, put on a good song, something that relaxes you. I don't know if it's like Andrea Bocelli or if it's Screamer Metal, whichever your choice of music is, put that on and just get yourself comfortable and ready to go to take the test. Now for tip number three, the mindset before you take the test. You know, let's say you studied in advance, you feel good, and then right before the test right before the test you get nervous, you start freaking out. So for this part of the exam, right before you sit down, try to psych yourself up, you know, like tell yourself, like when you have like that conversation with yourself right before the test, say, all right, I studied X amount of hours. Maybe you studied 10 hours. Say, all right, I studied 10 hours. I did a million problems. So whatever happens, happens. And just visualize yourself doing well on the exam. You know, like if you want to see yourself as some like awesome figure as like, I don't know, like a Viking warrior or something like just imagine yourself going into battle and winning, you know, and if you go into the test with a winning mindset, you won't be anxious during the test. But if you're going to keep flooding your mind with thoughts of like, oh, no, I'm not going to do well or this or that then chances are you're going to, like the anxiety is going to grip you during the test. And once the fear gets you during the test, your performance is going to plummet tremendously. So psych yourself up, be ready for the test, and then just go in there and do your best. Now, tip number four is more about the mindset you should have during the test. And you want to tell yourself that it is okay, it is normal to blank out during a math exam. You know, it's very unlikely that you're going to study 
and you're going to show up, you're going to know how to do every single question without hesitation and get a 100. Like that just doesn't happen often. Uh, so when you don't know how to do something, it's okay. You know, maybe move on to a different question. But when you come back to the question that you didn't know how to do, maybe it's the hardest question on the test, the mindset you want to keep is that you want to keep attacking. Do not quit. You know, I walk around, like now as a teacher, I walk around the classroom, I see which students quit during exams and they're just like looking off into space. They have this look on their face and there's 15 minutes left and they're not trying anything. Whereas you have the other student that's attacking the question, they're racing feverishly, just they won't quit. They will not quit until the bell rings, until I have to like say, all right guys, pencils down, pass your test forward. They're attacking away at the question. And maybe you don't get the full credit you know, what's the worst that happens? You get the question wrong, but as long as you attack the question, you're more likely to get it correct. And when you're in that mode of, I want to figure this out, I want to keep attacking this question, there's no time and space in your mind to feel anxious. You know, like you're just in that mode of attack and then you will have a much higher chance of doing well on that exam. So uh, this is going to conclude this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you like what, uh, if you like the video, please click like and subscribe below. And for staying tuned this long, here is a piece of uh, bonus footage of how that keep attacking mindset helps you in another setting. You know what you're doing, that a boy. Here you go. Nice sweep, keep going, keep pushing. Get up, get up. Nice try.